What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Odysseus Cosmos and a Stupid Robot Quest. <laughs> oh, well, fine, I'll try to get a better look. I hope there's a good reason I'm crouching down like this. A plasma cutter. Yes, of course I can. I was just thinking there was something I'd forgotten. Or maybe it's something else I've forgotten I forget. <laughs> uh, oops. Ah, oh, crap. What the hell did that say? Powerful cutting instrument with a plasma blade. It can cut through anything. Or almost anything. Oh, you know where we're going. You know where we're going. Uh, cause I don't. No, it's, it's this way. This way. Over here. Take this guy on the first aid kit. Flip the lock off? No problem. It's been begging for me to do that for ages already. A ladder would help though, or at least a stool. It's hard to do from down here. Son of a... <laughs> are you kidding me? Uh, oh, wait a minute. An upside down bucket? That's a hell of a lot, hell of a lot more dangerous than a ladder or even a stool. Don't you even think of trying something so stupid? That's for you. As for me, however, I think it's a capital idea. In any event, it's got to be safer than standing on the head of a maintenance robot. And so much better than using a stool, which is just what they'd be expecting me to do. Here we go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> ah, good job, Adi. It's my boy. And what do we got? A first aid kit. Alright. And what's in this bad boy? Twine, bandages, pills, and all the other things it's supposed to have. Okay. So we still have to do something with this. I'm going to try going down to the... Uh, where the rover is and seeing if I can plug that in there and see what it tells me. I mean, if anything, we're going to get a little bit of information saying that we have to go here or do this, hopefully. Because we still haven't done anything with securing uh, ourselves outside. Which I'm still thinking that this damn hand is going to do. What if I did this? We should probably pick that up because I thought that had something to do with uh, when we were inspecting Barton last episode. But okay, going here. Uh, hang on, go to here. Control console. Nope. I know chip fits, but I'm. I should probably program it before I insert again. And I need more wham. More dedotated wham. You ever quite time to go? Ah, oh, crap. Okay, you just hang out there, cause I got, I got. Yeah. Um. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the big mainframe. I need to take good care of those flying through outer space to the next probe. And the next, um, perhaps not. Uh, I don't think it would have to do with over here, but... Okay, come on now. There's got to be something that we could do. That we can program this, because we still have to program and it said that we needed more dedicated WAM. Hmm. 
So I wonder. No, I can't because I need the image on this to put it in this so that we can put that in the server. Huh. A mini nav comp on my cabin might just do the trick. On the other hand, I could save myself the bother and just unscrew Burton's head. <laughs> it would look awesome on the prow of our ship. <laughs> <laughs> Houston, we have a lift off. You seem remarkably focused on this particular task. Perhaps you could apply that same zeal to help when we finally complete the plan and repairs of the medium speed centrifuge. Okay, sure. Now listen to me very, very carefully. Screw the medium speed centrifuge. No one will ever need that damn thing. <laughs> there it is. Help rendered, problem solved. <laughs> okay, so we got. Oop, find the mini firmware on the nav chip. Okay, and then no other quest added, so we're going to go put that into the nav control. And we still got to do the inspection to get him to be the navigator, which we're going to need the image still. Okay, we got this. Well, that's that. Here's hoping. That... Our linoleum falcon here doesn't send me spinning down into Gargan. Alright. Now what? You're required to admit. Uh. What if I can cut him up? That's not going to work. Maybe if I trap him. I'm a little lost here so again I'm gonna cut sorry about the cuts in this I, I remember from the last time I did the series that sometimes I have to cut like this so I'm going to cut here see if I can figure out what it is that we're doing here and uh, I'll bring you back if we got something going on I'll always keep the, the uh, game recording but at least this way you'll you'll know when something's coming on I'll see you in a sec all right, everybody, I'm just over here. I've kind of gone throughout the rest of the ship, and this is the only area left that I can think of. Because, see, we go here. The valve is here, but the handle's gone. It just needs to find a handle that fits. But I already told you, I do not recommend opening that barrel. You, Barton, are a birth of the human quality of curiosity. I'm not sure why I would want to use a first aid kit here. Uh, thanks, I feel fine. No needles, okay? Uh, I'm not sure what the hell I got to do here. Can we do maybe wrap something up or how brilliant is this? It's got to be an empty syringe in the med kit. I can use it to suck out a clean sample of the fuel in the mini shuttle. Oh no, kidding. Oh wait, 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 wait. Can we take that into that uh centrifugal something or other Oh man, what the hell? It's in this little office. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Mm -hmm. Right here. Nope, not here. Out here. Over here. Then here. There we go. Okay, so this thing over here. Syntho replicator, I think. 
put it in the atomic synthesizer, and bingo, I can recognize or recreate the composition of any substance. Which means I'm going to have to go without my thermonuclear coffee. I've got the fuel sample. Yeah, I've got the fuel sample is in the database now. Time to try to recreate the mixture. Feel the shuttle. Uh, no, not Jonesy. Okay, what else? Jonesy. So I've got the fuel mixture in the... system, but then what do I do? Um, where where would we go? It won't be here. This is the bathroom, so there wouldn't be anything in here that we could use. It has to do with that barrel. Let me try. I just want to look in here. Uh-huh. Or double the donut ratio. <laughs> uh, that's my quarters. I don't think there'd be anything in there. So I still think the humidifier has to do with something. What the hell was that? I could have swore I saw something here. Oh, airlock. That's what it was. Okay. Uh, I don't think we could do anything here. We still can't do anything with this. Like how he takes his hat off. Oh, we have to get it to four. How do I do that? There's two. Five. Two. Oh, actually, I guess I could have left that in there. How do I... Wait, there, there. There it is. Perfect. Oh, shoot. Okay. Huh. Nice. Okay, so we got... Oh, it's four. And that's eight. Get rid of that. That's five. 
one. Uh, it's only four. Nope, can't do that. Five. One. Nope, four. That's five. So that won't work. Oops, four. Eight. Nope. Okay, hang on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If we did... Okay, fill that up, move that over there. Oh, wow. Okay, give me a sec. I'm going to cut this quickly so that we get something in here, and then I'll bring you back in a sec. Okay, I think I have it figured out. Uh, what I did is I filled this up, took two of these out. Now, if I move this here, uh, fill this up, there's six there. Get rid of that. There's that. Okay. So that's all that one was. Not too bad. And then we need seven here, which we have, what, five? And a total of nine. And that's four. And then... And that's three. Do that. That's nine. There's seven. Get rid of that. And that one's done. So we got our fuel mixture finally done. Nice. Now we have a ready reserve of the right fuel. Now I need to use it to fuel the rover. Come on. Get out of the way. A refilling valve that's hooked up to a pipeline leading to the San Francisco's internal fuel reserves. Okay, now let's see if this is right. We need a hose with the steel nozzle for the refueling nose and a right mix of fuel and a spigot itself, the pressure valve, to control the flow. I can see there's a little bit of fuel on the shuttle's tank. Nowhere near enough for takeoff, though. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. Talk to Barton, see what he has to say. Oh, yeah, that's that stupid thing again. I can't cut him. <laughs> Uh, don't really care. Let me just check out here again, because it says that there's a valve, a hose and a valve or something out there. Hose with a nozzle. It's a long way without a safety net. I'm not ready to risk pushing myself away from the ship. The slightest mistake, I'd be lost in space and vastness forever. Oh, wait, wait, wait. A safety bar. Something to fasten the safety line to. I'm a little scared to even think about why anyone might need it. Okay. You know what? I know what to do. I think I know what to do. Uh, do we still have it? Ah, oh, damn. Okay, maybe the towel will work. But I was thinking, uh, like, uh, a tourniquet or something from the first aid kit that we could kind of stitch together type of dealio. But 
that's not going to work, but I'm going to call the episode here. I think we're around the 20-minute mark anyways, just over. So that's going to do it for this one, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time. Take care.